Hi, I'm Monica Bay at the University of Florida, and we're in the middle of a fabulous conference. Uh, it's been really good, and we were just both on a panel, yeah. and this is Renee Lawrence. Did Hello. I pronounce it right? That's correct. Is Renee it close Lawrence. or perfect? Yes. Fix no. me if it was Renee Lawrence is fine. Yes, that's great. So tell us about what you do, because a lot of the students who come to not just this campus, but across the country, are kind of clueless a little bit about exactly what e-discovery is. So tell us about your job and what you what you do every day. Sure, um, I work for a company called KQR Corporation, and what we do is we have an online what's called document review tool. Mm -hmm. So every day during litigations, there's requests for discovery. It's part of the litigation process, which I'm sure many of the students do know about. Well, a lot of that is in the form of uh, electronics, emails, and so on and so forth. When you go and you identify and you collect, obviously that amount of information is quite voluminous. Yes. So our software stores that, so it allows an attorney to look through, filter, search, uh, review, make decisions, and redact, and finally produce the documents as part of the process of e-discovery. And the product product is uh, Relativity, do I have correct? Correct, and yeah. the, uh, the product we provide is uh, Cake here is Relativity, which is the name of our software. And what I do is I work on what's called our advice or our product specialist. So we work with our clients on how to utilize the tool in the best way to help them achieve their goals. Uh, the reason I, I, I came there, I used to be in litigation support for a large law firm in Chicago. Mm -hmm. uh, and I got there by ways of uh, actually being a corporate paralegal. Mm -hmm. uh, and what, what I did at the firm was I helped manage the Relativity instance for the firm, working with our attorneys every day, working with um, the attorneys to kind of achieve their goals so mm -hmm. as you can imagine most as most cases they were on tight timelines a lot of data a lot of information a lot of stuff had to go utilizing relativity we were able to get a lot of that done so now I work on the software side helping other law firms and other litigation support personnel whether it's at a service provider or at a law firm to help uh, facilitate that same workflow for their cases. What type of firms will typically uh, reach out to to Kikura for help? Well, we do see um, anywhere from the Amlaw 200 firms okay. to smaller firms. It really depends on uh, the type of firm. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if they're more into corporate work, not going to be so much reaching out to us, but if they're litigators, so plaintiff's firms, defense firms, really any firm that has litigation uh, type of activity or work. Uh, if you have to look at a lot of documents, whether it's emails, Word documents, or as we've been seeing here, social media type things, yes. Relativity is a place that you can look at it and review it for purposes of your case. So what do you see as the most common misunderstanding about e-discovery from the various folks that you work with? Uh, I think the thing I notice the most is that, one, we know there's a lot of information and there's not a lot of time and a lot of times our users get locked into kind of one mode of working, one facet, one set of workflows. Yeah. Honestly, there's a lot. Yeah. Uh, with our tool, you can do all kinds of different workflows. And by combining them, I think you can really dive and find the information you're looking for. I think a lot of times people just kind of go with what they know. In other words, they get a lot of documents and they just start reading documents without really thinking about, was well, there a better way? For example, there might be a great way to say, well, we know dates. I think it's a very simple kind of filter to say within the date range, we need to look at the documents if it's outside. But maybe kind of take that to an, uh, another level if within the dates, Maybe it's an email from a particular person with a particular subject, and that's just basic filtering. But you start combining it with uh, search terms, for example, which we're all familiar with, the new advent of analytics. Um, I think specifically that's, analytics. That's really more complicated. Where yeah. it gets more complicated, but there are aspects of it that can be utilized, okay. uh, that can help in the what people are comfortable with. Okay, and we're running out of time, well, sure. so I'm gonna cut you off on that. Sure. But before I let you go, what advice would you have for current students right now who look at the job market and go, I'm spending all this money, how am I going to get a job? What advice would you give to the students? Well, I think actually the technology part is a great way to get into the market. One, the data sizes are growing. Mm -hmm. But there really isn't, so in my world, I come from a technology background and technical background. You're not but, a lawyer. But I'm right? not a lawyer. Yes. And yeah. I think if you have the legal background and understand how lawyers 
uh, address or work through their cases, but with the understanding techno technology-wise to search and identify the documents, you provide a tremendous asset to legal teams. And it's one that more and more teams are getting accustomed to saying, well, just go find me what I'm looking for, but find it for me how I think about it. And that's where a uh, niche where I think the legal, the so legal it's students, opportunities for it's an opportunity for the legal students of today to, to really be an asset to the overall legal aspect of things, that whether it's law firm right. or a corporation. Well, thank you very much. And uh, it's been, I think you've given us a lot of good ideas. Great. And I'm Monica Bay, and thank you for watching. Thank you.